the next central bank that we'll be looking at is the Bank of Canada. And although the Bank of Canada is run through the Canadian government, it is a bank that's ultimately owned by its people. And in response to the public criticism of how the banks in Canada and how they in particular responded to the Great Depression of the 1930s, the bank was formally formed in 1934 as a private corporation. However, within about four years, it became a crown corporation and was taken over by the government. However, unlike other government agencies, the bank's governor and senior governor are appointed by the bank itself and not by the government. The Bank of Canada was built and has remained in Ottawa since its opening. And as a non-commercial bank, it doesn't offer banking services such as checking or savings accounts to normal customers. However, it does still contribute around an average of 1.7 billion US dollars in profit each year to the Canadian government. Its principal role is to promote the economic and financial welfare of Canada. And the four main areas of responsibility for the Bank of Canada are its monetary policy, the financial system of Canada, its currency, nicknamed the loony, and managing its funds. The Bank of Canada has the following structure in that monetary policy decisions are made by a majority vote by the governing council, and that consists of a governor, the senior deputy governor, and then four deputy governors. They have an inflation target between 1% and 3%, and they meet about uh, eight times a year. Uh, again, like many central banks these days, they have a website, and you can go to the website here, www.bankofcanada.ca and when you go to uh, that website what you can see is you can see press releases and on the press release you can go to press have a good explore Oops, sorry hit the press tab Oops. No apologies for this there we go. And you can go to interviews, speeches, webcasts. Now I'm at the moment, I'm just waiting on a uh, webcast from the, uh, the senior governor, uh, Stephen Pollotz, and he's going to be speaking in about nine, 10 minutes. And I can just go to the, the webcast there. And I can click on the link there and I can see uh, Pollotz's speech. And many traders around the world are looking and signing into uh, the central bank's websites in order to get uh, hints and clues as to the future direction uh, for a country's currency. So that's the Bank of uh, Canada, folks. I hope that's uh, been another helpful video, video for you in the central bank series.